Good evening. Mars from the surface. Man's age-old dream of a close-up look at what it's like on another planet and of searching for life there today became a reality. And what a reality. It's been more than 40 years since the Viking 1 landed on Mars and sent back the first images from the red planet. Since then, NASA has successfully operated six other unmanned landing craft and vehicles on the Martian surface. This week, the space agency debuted its next generation Mars rover, set to be launched in 2020. But now we're getting a look at what a future manned Mars rover might look like. Omar Villafranca took it for a spin at the Kennedy Space Center. With six wheels and a distinctive alien design, tourists at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex have no idea what to make of this extraterrestrial machine. We saw y'all driving in and got really excited. <laughs> well, that's the reaction that we like, right? This is a new Mars Rover concept vehicle. Standing 11 feet tall, 24 feet long, and 13 feet wide. What takes longer, your design or you putting it together? The giant rover is the brainchild of the Parker brothers, Shannon and Mark. The two made their names in Hollywood, designing and building movie props, most notably the futuristic motorcycles in the movie Tron. So no doors on Mars, you have to get into it through the back. Right. Shannon designed the rover. Mark and his team did the dirty work, constructing the whole thing in less than five months. There is almost nothing on this vehicle that was not built in, in our shop. I mean, down to every little bracket and tab. It's, nothing was ordered out of a catalog. We built the body, the chassis, the suspension, the wheels, the frame, the interior, the seats, the glass, everything on this vehicle had to be built completely from scratch. Some of this was just for a design, you know, just for it to look cool. Other things I, I thought, you know, this is kind of important to have. I'm being very delicate with it, but this is the speed you would end up going on Mars. You're not truly you're not. You excited about the, the inside of the rover seats four and drives like an SUV. But there's also a mock lab in the back where astronauts could conceivably conduct experiments. Some of the features were designed with exploration in mind. So we needed a good surface area for the rock to climb over, but then we needed a lot of surface area, so when you get into the sand, it's not gonna sink, but it also has these vents in it, so it's not gonna clog up. So it can go through really deep sand, not get stuck, and not get clogged up all at the same time. The brothers consulted with astronauts when building the machine, but this vehicle won't go to Mars. Instead, it's on an earthbound mission to educate future scientists about the red planet. You really believe that yeah, those are I the really ones. do believe that. U.S. Yeah, astronaut right. John McBride flew two space shuttle missions and says putting the first person on Mars is closer than we think. Yeah, we think that the first man or woman on Mars is somewhere between 8 and 18 years old as we speak. Right now. So these guys are in the third, fourth, fifth grade up through somewhere in college or after. The folks at the KSC Visitor Complex hope the attraction will generate enthusiasm like in 2012 when the unmanned Curiosity rover landed on Mars. Is public enthusiasm about it, does that have any bearing on what is decided in Washington? I think it has a lot of bearing. Uh, I was congressional director for NASA, and the people say, well, you ought to write your congressman, but very few, few people do that. The eye-grabbing rover goes on display at the Kennedy Space Center's Journey to Mars exhibit starting June 5th. Omar Villafranca, CBS This Morning, Saturday at the Kennedy Space Center in Central Florida. Okay, I want to. <laughs> You're drive. in. I want to drive that thing. Literally, if you build it, they will go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to drive it. I want to drive it on Mars too. Those wheels. I are want those so wheels cool. on my bike. <laughs> Can we adapt them? I don't know. Our